Rolling. You know? Yeah. No, I didn't. So over or <laughs> Over the past few months, Ten Year Vamp has been so busy. We've had so much going on, in fact, that we haven't had the opportunity to release any of the episodes that we typically release every so often. But we wanted to put together one episode, almost a collage of episodes, if you will. Wait, do that again. Do a collage like you did. A collage. collage. One more. A collage. <laughs> <All right. laughs> A collage of episodes to kind of update you guys and fill you in on, on what's been going on, because a lot has. So many of you by now know that we've released uh, a new album. It was released back in August of 2011. It is now the summer of 2012. Almost. Almost. So we're going on about eight months since it's been out. Uh, and uh, the recording was done uh, and it went really, really well. We have a bunch of footage and here it is. Andy, what are we doing? doing uh, we're recording no risk. Uh, we recorded Lust in two parts. We recorded the drums down in Long Island where we recorded our last album, Don't Act Like You Know Me. Uh, and then we recorded the second half, which was the vocals and the guitar parts at actually Andy's studio. Uh, and he pretty much masterminded the whole thing and produced it. He did it with the help of Rich, who was the engineer also on Don't Act Like You Know Me. So between the two of them, they put together a killer album uh, and really helped us, you know, channel our inner talents. All right, so today we're uh, going to start tracking the new 10-year vamp EP. Do we know what it's called yet? We can't tell them. You it's can't tell anybody? No. I thought we've been telling everybody at these shows. <laughs> no, we haven't. No, okay. All right, well, anyways, we're going to start tracking bass and guitars today. We've got vocals coming in this week. My man, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian, what else are we doing? Uh, well, we're about to get set up now. I think we got yeah, let's see if we have some, some audio here. Some audio. No. <laughs> it's coming out of here. Well, can we mix it that way? Just sure, mix yeah, because that's how everybody's listening, gonna listen to, to it. it so well. We should do it that way anyway. So, yeah, so I'm really excited to do this. Cool. Go ahead. <laughs> what would Mark do? Well, he would twist the camera like this. Yep, right, and so zoom into my boobs or yeah. something. I'll keep it above the cleavage Thanks. line temporarily. Thanks. What are we doing in here? Why are you in this creepy spot? Well, I thought it'd be fun just to be in here. <laughs> I'm in here getting ready to record vocals. For? For the new EP, for Ooh. the album, for the record. All right. Pretty excited about it. Yep, starting the first track now. Yep. All right. Battling allergies, but uh, just take an effort to pull. With the allergies, that raspy things come naturally, mm -hmm. and I don't think it should be used a lot, so I just have to make a conscious effort to control it. Gotcha. So we'll see. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. To accompany the release of the album, of course, we needed some album artwork, and no album is complete without some... Debbie pictures. What's going on? It's me, Debbie. You know me. It's uh, April 21st. I know that only because we had a show last night in New York which we did really, really well and we had some, some industry people show up. Uh, did a great job and we are here now uh, at a photo shoot for the new album, which is due out the end of May. So, uh, you know, besides making the music, you gotta get the art together and a lot of photography comes into play. So what we're doing right now is a photo shoot that uh, some may consider risque, but I think it's just appropriate for the upcoming summer season when many people are wearing bathing suits. Bathing suits, duct tape, what does it matter? You know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, just happy it's not snowing out, right? Although it was hailing earlier, which is awfully peculiar. That's uh, the red duct tape. Yes. 
too. You did the red duct tape shoot. I did do the red, du red duct tape shoot. Can't even say that. Red duct tape shoot. Red duct tape shoot. Say it three times. No. Red duct tape shoot. Well, whatever. It took me about a month to get that friggin' tape, the tape residue off my boobies. All right, if that, if that came out, it'll be good. You can stop. Stop doing it for the camera. With the release of a new album, you've got to have tons of promotional material. So what we needed to do was do a new band photo shoot. And we also had another good reason to do it, because we got a new member, believe it or not. Were you just zooming in on a, on a body part? No, no. You sure? No, yes. Mm, I need a new cameraman. Anyway, so, yeah. Timmy had to move on to uh, different projects in his life, uh, on good terms, of course, and he might make a few appearances at our show from here on out. But we had a new member join, Chad, so we did a new photo shoot, getting him involved with it, uh, as well as for the purpose of having some great promotional posters and materials. Perfect. Good. Where they are? Shoes untied. You have a knot in them? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we had a bunch of big shows this past few months uh, in promotion of the new CD. We played uh, an oyster festival down in Connecticut, Stanford, Hartford. So we're here in the car, getting ready to leave Albany, New York, heading down to Norwalk, Connecticut for our show today, Friday. I don't know what the date is, but I think it's September. Ian Mark is in the store getting some duct tape right now because we don't have any. And I think it's going to be a fun day. And I am shoved in the back with all this equipment and stuff. Can you get a little close up of all this stuff? It's a problem with not having a van, a big van, like a band van. You just got to throw it in your car. So if anybody would like to buy us a van or an RV, ideally, with some bunks, maybe a spray tan in the back or a tanning bed of some sort or at least a mirror with some lights. Ah! <laughs> Amanda saw a B. Um, we'd like an RV. Other than that, we'll just make do with our little van. And I guess we'll check in later on. of our trailer at uh, uh, Oyster Fest in Norwalk, Connecticut. Just did a, uh, a radio interview, went really, really well. And we hit the stage in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna change, Mark's gonna change. We're gonna maybe throw something in our tummies because I just put food out in the buffet line and uh, hopefully have a kick ass show.
we played with Fuel, who we actually had played with before, but that was about three or four years ago. So that was a really great time. Uh, and we also did a really great benefit at Proctor's over in Schenectady to raise some money for uh, hurricane victims, uh, which is a really great time. We got to play with a bunch of other great bands, which is really a good time when you get to play with other musicians, all for a good cause. Uh, not to mention it's great being on a huge stage, so that was a good time as well. Um, Wednesday morning, pretty early. We're going to uh, our first radio station to promote the benefit that we're playing tomorrow night. The good thing about radio is that it doesn't matter what you look like. The bad thing is that we have a TV interview at noon today, and I don't think I'll have a chance to go home before then. So we're just leaving now. We were there for like a total of four minutes, which is, you know what, all the time you need to say what you got to say. I had um, a list of points that I needed to touch upon, and I nailed every one. It's great, right? Perfect. You were Perfect. awesome. And now it's off to work for a little bit, and then we're back with um, YNN News. I don't know why it had to be a rainy day today. You know what I mean? It's gonna look like little orphan Annie by the time we go uh, film our friggin' TV thing. That's gonna be hot. Yuck. All right. So uh, stop two on our day's uh, PR events. We are at YNN, your news now, for the Capital Region. And we're about to go in and do a little promo section for the hurricane relief victims. And uh, I think Vince is the guy we're going to be meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I had time to straighten my hair. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> All right, if you want to stand here, mm -hmm. I think I got enough just to do this direct off my lap, mic. You guys doing a typical set as you do, for example, for I know you only probably have 30 minutes or so, but uh, yeah. something along those lines in terms of song selection or anything different, or just a... We're doing the same show that we always do, uh, the same show that we do for Aerosmith and Bon Jovi and all the bands we play with. We're doing the same sort of deal, but it's just going to be a lot shorter. And all proceeds, all proceeds go to Hurricane Victims, so this isn't even something where it's like... You know, there's been some countries that come in and 50% go here, 50% right. go there. So this is really all for sure. You guys yes. are doing this in your own time. 100%. Everyone involved, from every member of every band to uh, every employee of Proctor's, 100% of the proceeds are going to the American Red Cross, uh, the Northeastern uh, chapter, uh, all to benefit the hurricane victims of the recent flooding. So we're done with our interview, and uh, it went really, really well. And I think our next one isn't until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m really early these radio station things but uh, gotta do what you gotta do I think uh, with all the you know PR we're doing for this thing it should have a really great turnout and I'm really excited to be playing it that's it Fly 92.3 is Albany's number one hit music station Brian and Chrissy it's a fly morning rush Thursday 705 right now and 66 your fly 92.3 price chopper mm -hmm. weather for the big E partly cloudy humid scattered showers I just went outside it's pouring out so if you're heading out the door grab your umbrella high of 75 you'll need it all day today and tomorrow scattered showers tonight low 63 and tomorrow cloudy with rain high of 70. It's uh it's very early in the morning for everybody it's also early in the morning if you're a rock star like Debbie and Mark <laughs> a 10 year vamp. Hi guys. They're in the hey. studio. Good morning guys how's it going? Good morning it's going pretty well. Great to see you as always uh, big concert tonight Capital Region Relief Concert. It's to uh, benefit the victims of Hurricane Irene. It's happening at Proctor's later on tonight. What, what's the uh, the story behind this? How did this whole thing kind of come together? Well, we got an email from uh, Jay Yeager and Jim Anderson, and they were just looking to do something. I mean, you hear so many things. Uh, everyone's trying to do something for the hurricane victims, and you know, their thought was that uh, all these musicians have this talent, so 
let's put it to some good use. So they contacted us and said, hey, we're putting together this benefit. Would you guys like to be part of it? And we said, heck yeah. So, oh, no. that's cool. Yeah. You can't say no to Jay Yeager, too. Yeah, I know. He's, <laughs> audio uh, stars. he's with the audio stars. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Christy and I ran into him a couple of weeks ago, and he had been talking, and he's like, listen, I'm going to put together this event. You know, what do you guys think? And I'm like, get, just get on it. Let us yeah. know. And yeah. let us know. So it's going to be exciting. It actually starts tonight at 6 o'clock at Proctor's. And you guys have been able to keep the prices really yeah, low. For yeah. everything that you're getting tonight, yeah. 10 bucks is it's a steal. It is a steal. And you know why? It's because every band, every person involved, right down to the person who cleans the aisles of Proctor's Theater, is 100% volunteering. Oh, that's awesome. So 100% of the profits go straight to the American Red Cross of the Northeast. Love it. Great so job. It's just 10 bucks. $10 for seven bands. Wow. That's but, great. And um, now, here's, by the way, I'm just saying, did you did you play last, you didn't play last night, did you? Uh, it was, I mean, <laughs> what the heck that is today? You're just so incredibly, you're so I spunky know. this morning. <laughs> Normally, you don't know what sometimes you get, I don't know if I can do this, guy's death. You're going to make me sing a heart song. <laughs> <laughs> like, sometimes you make you do stuff. You are just full of energy. <laughs> Uh, now you uh, so you'll go home and what you got you'll take a little, like a nap will you go back to bed or how Actually, are you gonna I'm rock out I'm getting my there? hair did today are you really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. By the way. oh thanks it's, it's a little long, long. Yeah. I gotta <laughs> ask you this you are definitely the um the the, the front person of ten year mm -hmm. and it's cool because like your bandmates seem to be very okay with that like recently we got your your press kit okay mm -hmm. which is which is looks fantastic thanks by the way. thanks and I know Mark does that right so yes, he's he your does. bassist and That's he does that. And my thing, my question is this: It seems like they're all very comfortable with letting you be the, the sexy lead singer, and, right. and it, it looks like it. And the yeah. spokesperson for the band. And sometimes much, you yeah. gotta rifle through to see the other guys in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody okay with that? Just making sure. They are. I mean, they're very sexy in their own right, but, uh, <laughs> but they don't. They don't get looked at. <laughs> right. right, exactly. <laughs> um, but the press kit looks uh, looks fantastic. Thanks. You guys are doing things. We had another question for you. Because the band seems very supportive of putting you out there mm -hmm. and allowing you to be the lead, which is good. I mean, you've, you've obviously earned that, and, and it seems it. to be working. <laughs> How would they feel? Like, have you ever said, listen, guys, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to, I'm going out for X Factor right, or right. any of these shows. How would they feel about that? Have you attempted to do any of those things? Um, I don't know how they feel. My thought is that they would support me, but it's not a thought that has ever crossed my mind. Not I'm even definitely once. not a solo artist. I mean, I, I can't even do karaoke. I can't stand I it by myself that. and be like, hey, true. I'm going to sing for you now. Really? I need that energy. Man, my drummer is incredible. I, I just thrive off of that. My guitar players. That's great, almost great, like great. support in yeah, numbers. Yeah, I'm, I'm nothing without, without a band behind me. Yeah. Uh, no, I've seen you. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> on stage, right on stage. Right. <laughs> With so much going on, so much playing, we haven't had much time off. Everyone's always asking, don't you guys get sick of doing the same old shows? And maybe we do, a little bit, but you know what? The different crowds and the different energies really mixes things up, not to mention the different amounts of alcohol we consume. So there's a few episodes or maybe, you know, I had one more than I should have. Not that I was drunk and not that I drove, but maybe we were at an after party someone had a drum kit laying around and i happened to notice some drumsticks and while i can play guitar and saxophone and french horn and clarinet i can't play drums but apparently i that didn't stop you didn't realize it at the time So in addition to all the gigging and the traveling and the touring and the recording a new album and the getting a new member and the photo shoots, uh, we had even more stuff going on behind the scene in the form of licensing and publishing, which is pretty much the wave of the future with bands now. A lot of work went into it, but thankfully we've had a great outcome. Uh, and we signed about 15 to 20, if not more, contracts with different TV shows and licensing companies where they can use our songs for placements uh, in shows like The Kardashians and a bunch of other shows on E!, a bunch of shows on Bravo, MTV, The Real World, and The World According to Jenks, and some werewolf thing, and 
uh, a few Showtime shows. So all those different shows, Fox Sports, uh, some airline, Continental Airlines, they all have uh, access and the ability to use our songs. So uh, we've been keeping an eye on the TV shows to see when they'll use it. And that's awfully exciting. Uh, and we played, also another big show was, was Winter Chill with uh, Flying Into 2.3. They had Andy Grammer, who sings that song, but you gotta keep your head up, oh, oh, and you can let your head down. And uh, we, we opened for him, and then uh, we actually played a few songs together. No, he opened for us. Technically speaking, he played before us, but uh, other technically speaking, we opened, he was the headliner, shall we say. He was a great guy that we shared a dressing room with him, talked a bunch, uh, shot the shit. He came and played? He came and played with us, yep, and we had a really great time, so that was really fun. Uh, shout out to Flying Into 2.3, we're big fans of yours. You want to start this, Andy? Trying to get some height in my hair here. You think it looks You can hang upside down. I could film you upside down and it'll all just be like yeah. hang your legs over the back and hang down this way. And if uh, I film you this way, you'll look like you're standing up straight, but your hair will be sticking up. Didn't like Jane Child in the 80s do that? She just had like a zip and then like the nose ring earring thing. That's not, that could be her thing. Uh, you heard Shell Crow forgot her lines at her, at her own. She had a show, Shell Crow, and she forgot the lines of her own song. Nope, but. I do that all the time. It happens. <laughs> I feel so validated. Uh, anyway, so uh, now that you guys are caught up to speed, uh, we've got to get back to doing what we do best, which is gigging and touring and gigging and touring. And we got one going on right now, so I got to get on inside. Be sure to keep an eye on our website. Keep an eye on our summer schedule because we are packed tight and going into fall. It's going to be crazy. We got new videos coming out. We got licensing and publishing. We got so many things going on. You don't want to take your eyes off tenurevamp.com. Check us out on Facebook as well. That was it? Did you, did I not, like, wrap that up good enough? Do you expect something else coming? <laughs>